This is a bilateral lower extremity arterial pressures and waveforms exam on a patient with history of left femoral endarterectomy. First, we will take a look at the ankle brachial indices, which are 1.3 on the right and 1.6 on the left. Anything greater than 1.3 to 1.4, depending on the criteria that you use, is generally considered falsely elevated. So with an index of 1.6, this patient most likely has some artifactual pressures on the left side. Once we look at the pressures, we'll take a look at the waveforms. On the right side, an ankle brachial index of 1.3 is generally considered normal. However, when we look at the waveforms, we can see that there's a somewhat of a delay in the upstroke of the waveform with no real dichrotic notch identified. So this indicates that there's some disease in the right lower extremity. On the left, with an ankle brachial index of 1.6, we can still see that there's a sharp upstroke and a bit of a dichrotic notch at all levels. So in most cases, this would be considered normal flow, even though the ankle brachial index is considered elevated. Looking at the digital flow, we can see that the waveforms are diminished on each side, but again, the toe brachial indices are elevated. Considering that all indices appear elevated on both sides, we will take a look at the brachial artery pressures which are 86 on the left and 83 on the right. These are very low pressures in a patient with normal flow. So the next consideration would be that this person may have upper extremity arterial disease, which is inhibiting the flow to the brachial arteries. Low brachial artery pressures will affect the ankle brachial indices and cause them to be falsely elevated. So this patient may be considered for an upper extremity arteri arterial evaluation as well.